Welcome back to another excellently intro piece of work here video. Amazing thing. I'm sure you recognize the location that we are in, and if you don't, um, I'm not exactly sure why you're here, but uh, this is the 60 minute Coliseum. Anyway, that was a fantastic intro. As you can see over there, we've got something new that wasn't there before, and also my face, but something new over there. Uh, we had the first season that I ever did, we're just going to go down the trip of memory lane here, which was season five, the four week tournament um, hosted by me, obviously, November to December of 2016. So we did four weeks where uh, we had a weekly winner each time. Uh, people seemed to enjoy this. We had the, the three like winners and then each week had that one top winner. We had the two themes. Um, there and then we had the type of map so this could be any theme and then that was a puzzle game anyway I'm sure you guys remember and our overall winner that time was Boona Boy so congratulations to him yet again months later uh, then we had season 6 which was the latest season that ended February 2017 so just a few months ago uh, and that was the stacker competition where we had stacks and this was my attempt to use the ladder format that uh, Arsmailic had used previously and make it something um, that not only encouraged you to make lots of maps but encouraged you to make the best maps you could. Uh, and that overall winner was Balanzic. So congratulations to him. I don't know why I grabbed his head. Um, but we had some awesome map submissions here and I really liked this format because it did encourage people to submit so many. Now I've spent the past couple months thinking about the pros and cons of both of these seasons that I've done, because now I've experienced both types of season. Uh, both the 1v1 competition type system where you submit as many as you can, it just keeps going against other people. The tournament where it's everyone against everyone and it's a more score based system rather than a whose map was superior. And between the two, I think I preferred the tournament and I think other people preferred them. And additionally, uh, it didn't require you to have a lot of time. You only needed 60 minutes, which I think is a, a good point to keep. So we're going to go over to here. And as you can see, I haven't actually put the 60 minute banners or anything on this yet, but probably should. This is a little jungle thing. Um, not going to mention too much about why that is, but back here we have the board. So we're going to have three weeks. We're going to have a theme every week for sure, a theme word. And then we'll either have a second theme, and if there's two themes, it means you can build any type of map that you would like, or there's going to be a specialty rule, um, and we'll get a little more, that'd be more like uh, what type of map uh, we're looking for that week. And then the winner's head will go here. So, and then we've got a little pond here. Anyway, so we're gonna step on these pressure plates. Two words are gonna appear here. Uh, it's gonna be two themes this week. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what Temple's got for us. Looks like we have Treasure and Betray, or Betray and Treasure being our two words for this week. Uh, so you will have, today is May 1st, you'll have until May 8th uh, to submit. The, the morning of May 8th is when I will be um, finishing up any late submissions. So. Uh, as always, it is kind of a soft deadline, which means that if you submit a little late, uh, I'm not just going to like look at the chart and be like, all right, this person, two minutes after the deadline, we're throwing their map out. Now, if you put the effort in, your map will definitely get played. Um, but I will be moving on to the next week's maps uh, after that deadline. So, you know. Uh, as before, these maps here will begin to be played when we start approaching that deadline. So probably the day or two before, we'll just start uploading each map. We'll get its own video unless it's extremely short, and then we'll throw it in with one other map. And then as uh, people are working on their next week maps, we will be working on the uh, playing through the previous week. And so by week three, we'll be playing week two maps, and then we'll be playing through the week three maps, and then a winner will be released. Now, something different this time. Usually, the reward for winning 
uh, a 60 minute map type thing is I just kind of talk about how awesome you are and I put your head on some kind of a cool pedestal thing here. So we've got the emeralds, we've got like the redstone, and then obviously you get a thing. So like Cloudwolf one of, uh, was a winner in our Smilic seasons. You got like the crown and such. Um, I don't do anything so fancy. I just give you a special block. So here we have Boona Boy with his emerald. He was a weekly winner, but the emerald block denotes that he was a overall winner. Um, over here we have Blonzik. So here we go. This is Blonzik. He's got a nether warp block there, as you may have noticed. Um, that actually just means that he was a participant in the thing. But anyway, or no, he was a winner. Sorry. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I, I have totally organized this thing. Anyway, but this time, we're going to have a little specialty reward. So not only will you get your, your special thing in here, there will be an undisclosed uh, reward at the very end for the winner if they want to accept it. Um, you will get more information as to what that is as I finalize some things up. But uh, if you've been keeping track of my sporadic videos that I've been uploading recently, um, I have been working on a little secret project in the background. Uh, so they'll, they'll get a chance to have something to do with that. Um, but like I said, more details when that's formally announced. So just have to make sure everything actually works out. But the one award you can be sure that will be offered is I want to bring the person on to the final announcing uh, video. So typically my guest judges and stuff, they, they wouldn't be a guest judge, but this is an example. Typically the people I bring on are guest judges. People I know and people uh, I like to hang out with. Um, I bring them on to help me play through multiplayer maps. I have never brought on a contestant though. Um, I have brought on people like uh, um, CDF, I've brought on Wreckability, I've brought on Arsmalik, I've brought on um, the 22 Scoops, I've brought on tons of awesome people, uh, but all people that were outside of the competition. So I'd like to have a chance to, and I do talk to some people that participate outside of the competition, but I don't get to know all of you. And so uh, I'd like to bring on uh, whoever is the winner um, to have a chance to kind of like maybe interview them after the fact. Uh, they'll get to come into the Coliseum and be there when their head is placed on a pedestal. Um, and if they're not comfortable using a microphone or using a voice program, uh, obviously I know you all have Minecraft and so we'll just have you on the server and uh, we can kind of talk to you on chat. If you don't want to come on for an interview in the Coliseum, we can maybe play a mini game. But we'll, we'll bring, bring the person in, have some kind of special footage with them. Uh, and I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be great to get a chance to actually get to know the winner. Um, so yeah. And don't, don't let that deter anyone that I already know. And I know it's, it's not a great prize, you know, to get in here, but it, it's more than the special block. And I hope it's interesting to some of you. Uh, and there is that other undisclosed reward that uh you have to think about anyway uh as always i wish you the best of luck i will see you next time and remember it only takes 60 minutes goodbye and because it's been a couple of months uh let's let's just talk about this this thing so uh this was built by rsmailic but i use it from time to time if you're new to 60 minute maps or you haven't built one in the three month period where i was thinking about what to do uh, for this new season. Um, good reminder. So build a lobby. This is optional. You do not need a lobby. A lot of people enjoy building lobbies. The lobby does not have to be built within the 60 minute time period. Um, I tend to build them afterward. Remember that once you have your words, you're technically supposed to start building. Uh, this season is a tournament style, so it's a little more freelance you have the whole week to think about it but as soon as you open up the world you should start constructing so I would recommend building that afterward if you're gonna build it at all a lot of people reuse the same lobby uh, this does not really apply but if you want to build 60 minute maps on your own time I highly recommend it I often do uh, I haven't had time recently but I built a couple hundred or so hundred and something. Anyway, um, 
So if you want to, you just you stick some kind of randomizer, either online or dispenser, and you uh, select your theme through that. Uh, you can get your, you can choose obviously the options. 60 minute maps are meant to help you grow uh, in a challenging way, not meant to make your life pain and misery while you build a map about smelly feet or something. Uh, within the 60 minute time period, which is this, uh, you should design, build, and test your map. That means you cannot pause your timer in order to test out your map. Everything should be built and test within that 60 minutes. Uh, yeah, I get questions about that all the time, actually, about whether people can uh, re reconstruct parts of the map that didn't work. Like they finish their 60 minutes, they test it, they're like, oh, something doesn't work, and they go back in and they change things. Nope. Any testing you want to do, any bug fixes need to be done in that 60 minutes. Obviously, there's no way for me to easily enforce this, um, and it's not like there's any monetary gain. This is, again, for your benefit. Set the player. This can be done outside of the 60 minutes. Uh, so what set the player means is you should put your character, and if you're doing this in multiplayer, you should go in with whoever the, the primary character is, which is the first person to join the server, or download the world as single, uh, load it up in single player, and then move your character to the location where you want me to start, uh, clear my inventory or add anything to my inventory that I need, and change my game mode to what you want me to play in. Uh, as people on here now, or on the channel, know from watching me play these, I will play with whatever you give me, with whatever game mode, with whatever inventory, from whatever location you put me. I will go back and attempt to play it properly, but the first time I play through, the time I play it for the camera, I'm playing it with what you give me, because I'm taking what the map maker has provided and interpreting that as I will. It's up to you to make sure that the player knows what they're doing, not up to the player. And publish your map. Uh, obviously this can mean uploading it to Mediafire, you can upload it to Minecraft Maps, some people will upload it to Minecraft Forms, any way that you can get a link to a download uh, that you can then send me. The submission will be down below in the video description, probably, if it's not, write an angry comment in all caps, and it will be there very soon. It's like magic. All right, there you go. That's, that's how you make a 60-minute map. Enter bell sound.